Okay, here we are doing a magnetic field test on a Mercedes CLA 250, model year 2019. So I've got the car running here, and I'm in the Mount Charleston area of Las Vegas. Okay, I did another test here with a Volvo I was driving here a couple days ago. So you can see the magnetic field outside here. Again, point 0.1, perfect. So let's first thing we're going to do is do the driver's side and you can see that is a very low level. That's very low, 0.2, okay, at the driver's 0.22, okay. So compared to the Volvo S90 up here, we were seeing anything from like 2 to 4, definitely 4, 3.5 to 4 at the seat. So at the head level, 0.4, okay, 0.5. Now let's go to the feet level. So you see it's very low here. Let's go to where the left foot is. And 3.3, .3. okay, so a little bit more. But right where the right foot was, this was uh, on the Volvo S90 was showing about a 20. Okay, and I know it went up to 30 when I was driving. So here we have it at rest as a 1. Okay, so it's very low. 1.15 by the left or right leg, by the brake pedal. Okay, again the number jumps up when it's in motion, so you have to keep it steady. So we're looking at 2.3 by the pedal, and I just noticed the pedal on this is very small and kind of weird shaped. But uh, just from a magnetic field standpoint, 2.27, okay. So, yeah, and so driving it goes up just a, a smidgen, but it's basically, you know, not an issue. So, this car from the driver's side, from a magnetic field standpoint, is excellent. So I'm very impressed with that. Uh, on this Mercedes. Um, but just as we're down here, just looking at the pedals, um, the brake pedal looks fine, the gas pedal looks, that looks really wimpy. Um, and it's like this weird round thing. So, but anyways, let me, let's not get sidetracked here. So from a magnetic field standpoint, very pleased here. Um, at the steering wheel, we're looking at, you know, point, oh, less than one, okay? Point five, point seven. Okay, on the Volvo that was already up to two, more than two. So, at the center console here, 1.1. So, the engineering team did a great job with the magnetic field on this Mercedes. So, I'm going to also do a wireless radiation test. Uh, it's all off at the moment, but we'll just do a confirmation video on that.